Hello guys, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Uh, magandang umaga ko kung nasan mo kayo sa ating uh, lugar dyan sa Pilipinas maybe. Pero dito sa Canada, magandang gabi sa inyo. Um, after watching this news, naisip ko lang gumawa ng, uh, ng summary regarding this bagong restriction na ng ating uh, government of Alberta. Okay, Welcome to my channel by the way. This is Hill Padernal. So... I-recap lang natin para sa mga hindi pa nakapanood at sana ay para maging aware tayo sa mga nangyayari sa ating mga paligid. These are new measures na na-implement by uh, uh, by coming Friday. So, and some are to be implemented na. Una is, no more indoor social gatherings in any setting. Guys, wala, wala na. Malaking pinagbabawal na ngayon ang pagbisita sa mga bahay-bahay. At uh, only allowed, okay, sinabi doon, only allowed if you are alone. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-iisa ka lang sa bahay mo, pwedeng meron ka magkaroon ng bisita na dalawa lang. Two in social contacts, okay? But other than that, no visitors and no indoor gatherings allowed sa ating mga bahay-bahay, okay? And sa outdoor gatherings naman, we, we are only allowed to maximum of 10, 10 lang ang outdoor gatherings na allowed natin. Okay? Pero sa mga private residents, pwede ang child care, home care for private is allowed on this private residents. Pero sa ating yung mga gatherings natin na ginagawa natin usually, wala na siya ngayon. Strictly, bawal na bawal or else we get fine of amounting to $1,000 1 grand ticketed offense up to 100,000 through courts. Okay? So, mag-ingat-ingat tayo guys. Ngayon, meron tayong EAS or which is the emergency alert system to, for us to get alert sa ating province. Okay? May, may marireceive tayong mga text message through this one. And then, uh, businesses will take place on, this is going to be on Friday. They have three categories. Merong closed, Merong open with restrictions and then open with appointments only. So actually nangyayari na ngayon ito. Pero ngayon, masyado nilang minaliit yung dapat na pumapasok. So closed, of course, bawal yung mga banquet halls, events, concerts, community centers. Basta kung saan yung mga maraming tao, closed na yon, Automatic na. Pero yung open with restriction, those are like... Uh, those are... Uh, Restaurant, bars, lounges, but these are with restriction. Ibig sabihin, I think, ang pagkakabanggit niya is 5 na lang. Tapos, yung pagsaserve ng drink is only until 10pm. So, guys, ang liquor store din is only open until 10pm. So, guys, 10pm. Kung yung ibang liquor store dati is open up to 11, 12, or 1, ngayon, it's only 10pm. So, maaga tayong mamili na. Tapos, yung mga, ano, mga essentials... Ngayon, kung noon nakita natin yung mga pila-pila, babalik ngayon yun kasi limited na lang yung mga pwedeng pumasok uli ngayon sa mga groceries. So that's gonna be starting on Friday. So we meron tayong konting uh, oras pa. Oh, it's gonna be Thursday tomorrow. So meron pa tayong oras bukas para mga mamili ng mga bibili natin. Or else, malamig na ngayon, ang mangyayari is pila sa labas. And third is, the buy appointments, yun yung mga Salon, barbers, dentists, ganun, mga, mga buy appointments na lang siya ngayon. Bawal na ang walk-in. Okay? Tapos sa wedding and funeral services, maximum of 10 na. Maximum of 10. So, yun advice nila na kung may schedule kayo, kung pwede nyo reschedule, reschedule na. At bawal ang reception. No reception permit. No reception permitted, sabi nga. No more festival and events. Uh, actually, wala naman tayo masyado ngayon yan dahil, ano na, dahil winter season na. Tapos sa school naman, grade 7 to 12 at home learning mag-start na ng November 30 up to January 1. Tapos sa grades, sa grades K to 6 naman at home learning, that would, be, that would start on December 18 to January 11. So, working home, working from home should be considered. Mas maganda yan. Yan ang ina-advise nila. So, if you are working in a company right now, 
um, that's indoor, kailangan we are to wear mask. Sabi niya dito, exception is only for those who works in an office, tapos may mga barriers or meron kayong cubicles. Okay lang yun na, you don't have to wear mask. But then, but then, uh, but this is mandatory for indoor workplaces and that's the only exception. Okay? If you work in the office and there are some barriers, okay lang yun, kahit hindi kayo mag-wear ng mask. Ang ibig sabihin lang dyan, dyan is yung close contact. Yun lang naman pinag-uusapan natin dito. And then, restricted areas for some businesses and services. That would start on November 27. Sabi ko nga, sa Friday mag-start siya. And I think that's all guys. Yan lang ang masasabi ko for now. And if you know, if you wanna know more about this, in very in particular, para dun sa mga hindi nakapanood, just go and visit alberta.ca para sa ating kaalaman, para mas mainam ng may alam guys. Kesa mahuli tayo, magbayad tayo ng 1,000 or even more and let's go to court. Diba? Mag-ingat na lahat guys. Ah. Or better say, stay home. Ah, sabi nga pala dun, pag nasa bahay, ah, kalahan pa rin ang social dis distancing. You don't really need to wear mask but like social distancing inside your house. Okay? Stay safe everyone. And uh, advance a Merry Christmas to all. Let's celebrate Christmas para sa mga naniniwala dyan. Stay positive guys. Bye.